it's Gretchen and welcome back to my channel. So if you have been around on my channel for a while or if you've gone back and watched some really old videos, you will know that I used to do a lot of content about weight loss surgery. If you are unaware, I had weight loss surgery in April of 2017. I actually started this channel kind of not really with weight loss surgery in mind, but when I started the channel, I was starting to think about weight loss surgery. I started creating more content related around it while I was actively losing weight. And then once I got to a like my goal weight, I just kind of stopped and would do it every now and then. But I've been asked to do some weight loss surgery related content again. And I'm like, you know what? If I can help someone out there with weight loss surgery, questions, comments, ideas, thoughts, what have you, you know what, might as well. Also go back and watch some old videos of mine. It's a trip to see the transformation. Not one I like to look back on myself, but you know what, if it can help someone else, that's why those videos still exist. So for today's video, just gonna dive right into weight loss surgery content with a topic that I personally don't want to talk about or think about, but it's something that's incredibly important and probably happens to a number of us who have had a weight loss surgery of any kind. Mine specifically was vertical sleeve gastrectomy. You also have bypass. You have the lap band, though that one I think is like fading out. You also have the gastric balloon, which is what I was originally gonna get, but then we decided to do gastric sleeve. So yeah, there's a variety. There's like a duodenal switch. I always get the word wrong, but there's like a little switch and that's just a confusing one. But this happens to a number of us and that is regain. Ugh. No one wants to talk about regain after having weight loss surgery because it's the opposite of what we wanted, right? Today's video, after that long-winded introduction of me rambling and being a little nervous about this video, I am gonna be discussing regain after surgery. First of all, what is regain? Well, it's exactly as it sounds, it's regaining weight after you've lost it. So what are some things you should know about regain? Well, the most important one is that it happens. It scares us, but it happens, and you're not alone. If you're experiencing regain after having surgery, you're not alone. You're not the only one that experiences that, I promise you. I'm gonna put myself out there right now, just so that you know you're not alone. So for me, personally, I have lost 120 pounds overall. It's kind of hard to determine where I started at because I have told in my videos a multitude of numbers. I started lower, like when I was still bigger, I started lower because I didn't want people to know my true weight. And then even while I was still losing, the number would grow, but I still never told the true weight that I got to. So now that I am content with where I am, the true number of my heaviest weight was 245 pounds. I was 245 at one point, I am 5'6". When I started like, cause you have to go through a pre-op phase. When I started, I was 235 and the lowest I got was around 125, 127. My personal happy weight is 130 to 135. I am currently 138, which does not sound like much of a regain. But when you think about the fact that I did get to 125 at one point and I'm now 138, that's a, that's a significant regain now. Like I said, my happy weight is 130 to 135, so I kind of needed to gain at least five of those pounds back to be happy with how I looked. I will insert a picture here of when I was at my lowest, and even though I like how I looked there, I also was not healthy. In some sense, I needed to regain a little bit. I had lost a little too much for where I felt comfortable, but now it's kind of creeping past to a heavier side of me that I don't like. So. What happens if you start to experience regain? The first thing that you're not gonna do is to belittle yourself and say, wow, I can't believe I let myself get here because we are not gonna be self-deprecating. I do it to myself constantly, but I'm telling you not to self-deprecate. Something to keep in mind is that even when you hit your goal weight, you have to continue to work to keep that goal weight. It's really, really easy to fall back into bad habits once you get to that goal weight and you're like, hmm, I'm doing okay here. This is feeling pretty good. It's so easy to fall back into old habits. For me personally, candy has been my downfall. I love sugar. I just will eat it like it's going out of style because it's empty calories and they're just kind of going on through me. They're not making me feel full. I have to get away from that. That's where I know my biggest downfall is. These bad habits of mine personally just continue to snowball until they are just out of control. It would be like, oh, 
If I go on a little road trip, I'll grab a bag of M&Ms here. Oh, if I stop by Sheets, I'll grab some candy here. And it just got to the point where I was like, oh, every single day I'm grabbing candy. What? That defeats the purpose of why I did this in the first place. Again, for this video, I'm gonna be using me personally to talk about Regain because yeah, it's, it's gotten a hold of me and I've fallen back into those bad habits. And even though I felt like invincible for a while at my goal weight and at that low weight, all of a sudden my body's just like, well, if you're gonna do this, this is what's gonna happen and I need to change that. So I don't know about anyone else, and this is me not placing blame on anything, but quarantine has not been kind. I don't think it's been kind to anyone. So not only has it been extremely detrimental to my weight, but it's also been extremely detrimental to my mental health. Mental health plays a major factor in regain. You get so caught up in what you've done wrong as well as what's going wrong that it just causes you to spiral out of control. Regain comes down to eating habits, yes, but it also comes down to your lifestyle choices. You need to get back to those healthy ones that you had six months after your surgery, a year after your surgery, very soon after your surgery. That's when you were like right in the zone. One thing that I do want to harp on, I want to instill this in your brain, is do not feel embarrassed if you have regained. Again, it happens. It happens to everyone. It's happening to me currently, but I've just got to kick myself in the butt and be like, look, knock it off. You didn't go through all of this just to gain it back. Just do it. Just do it. Shia LaBeouf needs to bust through the door. I don't want anyone to feel embarrassed about regain. You can get mad that it's happened. You can get frustrated that it's happened, but don't get mad at yourself. Take that frustration and turn it around and work hard. You can be upset with the fact that it's happened. Don't be hard on yourself. Don't be mad with yourself. Something that I have personally found helpful is to remind myself why I got weight loss surgery in the first place. Why did I do this? Why did I go through all of this just to get back to where I was? I got this surgery because I was extremely unhappy and I was unhealthy and I was obese. There was no overweight about it. I was obese. Weight loss surgery is not a magic wand. It's not gonna miraculously cure everything that's wrong. It is a tool and it is supposed to help you reach your goals. It's not supposed to give them to you, but it's supposed to help you get there. If you find yourself regaining weight, Remind yourself that you got to a specific weight before and you can do it again. Yes, it is much harder to lose regain weight than it was originally, like when you were just straight on going through and losing all the weight. It is more difficult to lose that weight that you've regained, but it's not impossible. You did it before, you can do it again. You have to get back to those good habits that you developed after your surgery and break away from those bad habits that you've developed and incorporated into your lifestyle over time. Some ways you can do this is to pick up exercising again, even if you just go for walks like three times a week. I'm trying to make sure that I at least walk three times a week. You know, whatever days those are, I may not be as active on weekends, but I try really hard at least during the week to be active in some capacity. Heck, I even ordered a Peloton bike that should be here in less than a month, which I'm so excited about. And that's gonna be my motivation to be like, hey, get up and do something. You also need to get those healthy eating habits back. Find ways to change your eating habits. You don't have to just go cold turkey on things all of a sudden, but get back to those healthy eating habits that you had, you know, a year out after surgery. We all had them. You know, we all followed everything to a T that we needed to. And then you get a little relaxed after several years of having the surgery and you find yourself in those bad habits. Now I will also say, not everyone is gonna benefit from the same tips as someone else. Are you better at managing healthy eating habits than you are exercising? Focus on that. Once you've got that down to a science, start incorporating the exercising. I personally, when I originally lost the weight, I found that for me, it was a whole lot easier to focus on what I was eating and those healthy eating habits and like even planning what I was gonna eat. I found that to be a whole lot easier to master before I started incorporating the working out again. Could be the opposite for you. You could find yourself that you're better at creating that schedule for working out before you can start incorporating the healthy eating habits. Focus on one thing, you know, don't overload yourself all at once because that's when you're gonna get frustrated and burnt out and you're gonna give up. If you find yourself regaining, notice it right away. Don't let it get out of control and you think, oh, it's just a few pounds here and there. 
Like again, my happy weight is 130 to 135 and I'm 138. That may not seem like a huge difference, but that's three pounds from the higher end of what makes me happy. That's eight pounds from the lower end. I need to stop this now so that it doesn't become 10, 15, 20 and creeps on back up. Find what you're doing now and correct it. Again, one of the best things that you can do for yourself once you start noticing regain is to remember those good habits that you had right after your surgery. Tracking your food intake, measuring your food. Remember, count your calories, track your carbs, up your protein content, avoid snacking. This is probably my biggest downfall. Snacking is not gonna fill you up and you're just gonna continue to put it in there and that adds up pretty fast actually. Empty calories from snacking lead to gain in weight. Shocker, I know, it sucks. Focus on healthy lifestyles and even exercising. Cardio is what's gonna help you lose weight. Weight training is gonna help you build muscle. What is your focus? But the point of this video is to be like, hey, you've regained, you're not alone. Do not beat yourself up about it. Focus on how much you have accomplished already. Remind yourself that you have done it before and that you can do it again. It is okay to get frustrated with what's happening. Believe me, I'm incredibly frustrated with myself. But what we're not gonna do is blame ourselves because blaming ourselves leads to a negative mindset, leads to poor mental health. Like I said, mental health does have a huge effect on what we're able to do regarding weight loss and like using our tool to our advantage. Again, I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy, so that's why I refer to it as a tool. I don't know if they do that with bypass. So if someone watches this and they've had bypass, let me know if y'all refer to your tiny tummies as, as a tool as well, because I just can speak of VSG. I'm also creating this video as a way to hold myself accountable. I hope someone else can get something out of this, but by me putting this out into the universe and being like, hey, you've gained weight, knock that shit off. Putting it out there, I can be like, wow, okay, it's out there now. Everyone knows about it, and by everyone, I mean whoever watches this. I need to hold myself accountable. I need to remember why I got this surgery done in the first place, and I just need to knock it off. If you have had weight loss surgery, have you experienced weight gain before? You know, what are your thoughts on regain? It made me happy to know like in my research that it does happen to others. I'm not the only one it happens to. You know, am I happy it's happening to me? Hell no, not happy at all. But it happens to others so I know I'm not alone and that makes me feel a little bit better. But I also know that I am strong and I've lost the weight before and I can do it again. No, I'm not gonna center my entire life around losing the weight, but it is gonna be at the forefront of my mind and it's something I need to focus on. If you have had weight loss surgery and you've experienced regain and have managed to lose the weight again, leave your tips and tricks in the comments below. Like what helped you be like, all right, we gotta do this. We gotta get this off again. Have you also experienced regain and you found that it was actually good for you? Cause like I said, I've gotten to 125 before, but I looked a little sick there. So that's why I realized like 120s were not for me, but the 130s were like, did you regain and it ended up being good for you? Leave those in the comments below. And again, if you would like to see more weight loss surgery related content from me, let me know in the comments below. Cause I mean, that's what my channel kind of started out as. Not entirely, but I used to do a whole lot more during those early stages of me getting the surgery. But that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big ol' thumbs up. Go on down there and hit that subscribe button wherever it may be. Cause I don't know, even though I do, this is just my stick now. Also hit that notification bell in case you want to know when I upload and in case YouTube wants to let you know when I upload because I would really appreciate it. And until next time, bye guys. Mm -hmm.